members in our community. I was just speaking in Boro last night. One of our members has had two levitation experiences. And she wasn't even really impressed by that. Levitating. You know, it was like a natural thing. The, the stillness is more important for, than the levitation. We've had symptom removals, raising the dead, the things that actually come about that we hear about from Jesus. And people say, did those things really happen? But those are just reflections and witnesses and demonstrations. And you are entitled to miracles. So when you're doing those lessons, it doesn't it didn't surprise me when those things started to happen. It didn't surprise me when revelatory experiences happen because he starts right off at the beginning of the book, at the beginning of the text, talking about miracles and revelation. Miracles are the means and revelation is the end. It shows you a glimpse of what this is all about. It's all there. And the book is there, I think, to assure us and reassure us to not be frightened of love. To not be frightened of the light when we have those experiences. The ego may shudder and the ego may tremble, but you should not be afraid if you experience angels, daily angels. I think a lot of us are starting to feel we have daily angels showing up. I find myself saying that in my mind. Angel, 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 angel. So we're here really to accept the atonement. That's our sole responsibility. Sole responsibility means it's the only responsibility. You may, we were joking earlier about responsible for the heat. Uh, Cheryl and Vera were coming in there and apologizing for the heat. We may think we have financial responsibilities, we, we have relationship responsibilities, you know, we have responsibilities to family, friends, and the Holy Spirit is very practical. Jesus is very practical. So, they will unwind your mind from these false concepts that the ego made and take your mind into a glorious state, a heavenly state. But there will be an unwinding. There will be an ex exchange of self-concepts for who you believe you are. You'll have an exchange, he tells us in the self versus self concept section, of concepts. And you'll just go seemingly higher and higher up the ladder as you have more expansive identity concepts. Where you just have these aha moments and these oh, so glorious moments where you do not feel you are the same as you were. You just guess, oh, I'm so much more than I thought it was. Wow, just keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening.